Hi guys, just wanted to come on real quick and show you an updated video of how I mix my aroma beads with my oils. Um, a little bit of a close up here, but as you can see, turn on my scale. I am using a quart size mason jar to measure my beads in. And the ratio that I use is eight ounces of aroma beads to two ounces of fragrance oil. So once you get your mason jar on the scale, you wanna make sure that you tear the scale out so that it is showing it a zero weight when you pour your aroma beads in. So what I do is I just pour in my aroma beads. And I know it is a quart jar that we're using, which is generally a, a bigger size jar, but you'll see the, the beads, if you were going by weight alone, does not proportion out to a quart size. So again, I'll tear this scale again to zero it out. And then I'll take my fragrance oil and I will add it to my container here. And I will just get everything in here. And it's best to use a scale when you're measuring everything. Um, I do use paper towels because sometimes you do get a little bit of a splash on your container and everything. You wanna make sure you get that up good. Um, it is best to use a scale when you're measuring and as you see you'll see your line here where your fragrance oil will be and then I just put the lid on and you'll want to shake very well and make sure that you get the fragrance oil incorporated on all of the beads and then I'll just set it back down and as you can see, this fragrance oil is going to settle back down at the bottom. So this is going to be normal for your first little bit. Um, I shake this about once an hour every couple of hours for my first go around. And of course, you know, throughout the day, every couple of hours after that. Um, different fragrance oils have different times that it takes to incorporate. This particular fragrance oil is a pumpkin caramel that I'm using. For me, it will take probably about two to three days to dry in enough that I can take it out of this container and put it into my bucket uh, that I use to store it in to dry them in and cure them in. Now, once they have dried in is when I start my curing time and I cure them a minimum of seven days before I use them. Um, or however, whatever I'm going to do with them. Uh, I do sell them as well to other freshy makers. So I cure them a minimum of seven days, and I start that time again from the time that these beads dry in this jar, not from this time, from the time that the fragrance oil is all dried in the jar. Now, as you can see, this fragrance oil does discolor to this yellow color, some fragrance oils will leave them uh, the clear color and some will discolor to the yellow color. You can certainly still color over that yellow color. It does not affect it, except for I found uh, if you're using a white color. So if you're using a white mica, you may not get a pure white with this yellow discoloration. Um, I just happened to pick this fragrance oil because I needed to make some more of them. Um, and then I do store them in my containers and these are the types of containers that I store them in. I find these at the Dollar Tree. And you'll see this little, I don't think you can see it on the video, but this little triangle here on the bottom has the five on it um, and the PP for the polypropylene. And that tells you that uh, this container will hold the scent in. It will not draw the scent out of your beads. So you can leave these in here for, I've had some in there going on,
probably two or three months and open the container and you can still smell them as good as new. Um, they also come in a smaller size as well at the Dollar Tree, but those are what I use. Um, so just wanted to do a little quick video and show you that and uh, we'll do some more tutorials as we go. Thanks. Have a good night.